Hi, and welcome to our video on the WYSIWYG editor. In this video, we will talk about the WYSIWYG and, and how you can use it to add content to your app. The WYSIWYGs um, are throughout different plugins in the app. I'm going to use a text plugin to work with this WYSIWYG and show you some uh, tips and some tricks on how um, to add content to your app. WYSIWYG stands for what you see is what you get. And basically what you put into the WYSIWYG area of um, the control panel will update in the app. So if we just say, we will see as we type, it, it updates over here in the widget section. We can change this text to be bold and we see it update or italicized. We can also say we want this to be a heading. We can um, change it to be a heading and then put a paragraph under it. Again, we see it updating here. And maybe I don't want everything uh, left aligned. So let's uh, let's justify this or um, align it center. See, we can make all these kind of changes. And as we see it edited or changed here in the editor, we can see it update um, here as well. Another thing that the, the WYSIWYG will allow you to do is to link to um, say a website or something like that. We would do this by using the link button here. And when you do, it's gonna ask you for a URL. I'm going to um, just pull up a website and we can go ahead and paste that URL in the field. And we now see that our text updates here to show that it's linked. And here, based on the color scheme, it's going to change color and as well as be clickable now. We can also um, place images in the in a WYSIWYG. Um, you can get the images from uh, something like Google Images. You could get it from, you could have an image hosted on your website. We don't host images on our system. So you will need a way to host them and then link to that. One thing I recommend is say, try uh, using some, a service like Dropbox, um, which is free to host some of the images and content that you want to place in the WYSIWYGs. I have uh, an image on Dropbox here and I have it set to share and um, have it set to whoever, wherever I have the link it will uh, will be sh um, shared with that person. So I'm gonna put this in here. Now there are two changes that do need to be made to a URL with Dropbox. You need to remove um, everything after that question mark at the end. So it just ends with dot uh, JPEG or PNG, et cetera. And then we also need to remove the www at the front and replace that with a DL. Um, we can either set it set our own dimensions or we can set it to constrain properties. It's see it auto fills with the dimensions of my image. Or again, we can set it to constrain properties and that is going to uh, adjust based off of the size of our device. We do recommend that that way, depending on the device screen that um, is viewing this plugin, it, it the image should adjust uh, to it. I can also easily resize it's now since we um, had already set it to constrain properties it's not going to really change here because it's always going to be bigger but say I made it really small it should adjust to be really small another thing we could do is we could put in a video after this and I'm going to, uh, we can either get a video from Vimeo, YouTube, we could do uh, another video hosted on Dropbox um, with the same URL modifications. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up this puppies video on YouTube here in a second, there we go. 
and I'm going to choose to share and I could either use this URL or I could also use an embed link. I'll go ahead and copy the embed link this time. So if I were to use just the URL, I would put that here. Since I have an embed link though, I'm going to go and input the entire embed link there um, in the embed tab. Go ahead and hit okay. And we will see similarly, the video is going to pop up here and it's a little large. Um, so let me make that a bit smaller. There we go. Um, still maybe a little bit larger. So again, you can see that I'm dragging and dra um, you're dragging to resize it to um, the size that I want it to be. Please check out the other videos on the different areas of our app. And I hope you uh, enjoyed this video on our WYSIWYG. Thank you.